Hi friends, how are you? Now, some of you watching this, quick, just a, a quick, very, very quick announcement before I dive into the episode. I'm going to keep this intro very, very short. Some of you might be like, hey, where is your Place Further Than the Universe episodes? Well, I decided to hold off on those um, this week. So we're going to get 10 and 11, obviously, back to back. This Thursday, we're going to get 10 and 11 of a Place Further Than the Universe next Thursday. And then we're going to get them all on the last Thursday. That way we can actually fill out the month of July because we have five um, Thursdays in July, and I realized, oh, we we're, we would be finished a week early, and that would be then a three week, four week wait until we actually got Hibiki Euphonium, and I didn't like waiting that long, so that's why it's kind of weirdly spaced out the way it is. I just want to give you a heads up on that. Also, again, if you're watching on YouTube, there's no sound, partial image keeps the copyright monsters at bay. Other than that, there's only nothing else to say. Last episode was really cute. It was all about kind of the geo spots and being a tourist and kind of the cuteness here and there. We got to see Rin really enjoy being amongst a group of people, which she doesn't really get to do very often. So she is totally a solo camper girl, but she's also loves being with or learning to love being around people, which is pretty cool. Uh, we are reminded that yes, Rin is the best girl and Sakura is just the amazing girl. And is the captain. She's just the captain of everything. Of everything, all of it, us, everyone, you, me. She's just the captain. She is amazing. Um, she is so chill and fun. And the more we get to know about her, the more I'm fairly certain she, it's just her and Rin are one of those individuals where Anna just liked Rin, probably liked her really pretty long hair, and was like, yeah, we're gonna be friends. And, you know, of course, like, Rin was like, no, we're not, and kind of pushed back a little bit. She's like, no, we're gonna be friends. <laughs> it just kind of like feels like that's the relationship they have when they first started. Then now that they're really good friends and they're best friends, and they are still best friends. We're gonna that she have a really great relationship, and it's amazing and it's sweet, and they're good friends. But Anna and Rin are still totally best friends, and it's really adorable, and I'm loving it. Toba Sensei is amazing. <laughs> she's really cool, and she's and she's sweet and. When she's sober, she's just a very sweet, caring person. And then when she's drunk, it's like, oh gosh. I didn't think that Toba Sensei was going to try to get drunk um, when she could, because the young Inoko, mini Inoko is there. Inoko, Inoko uh, is there. But apparently, and uh, my hope is that she won't ruin the surprise from Dishiko and Ao, which is the. Um, the birthday surprise. I don't think she will, even accidentally. I think she's too much like her sister, and I think she will try to do her best to kind of, you know, you know, be their surprise. And Aki died at the end of the episode, so um, this episode will be at Aki's funeral. <laughs> I'm fairly certain we're going to have to do deal with that. Um, her burial will probably be the episode after that. Anyway, without further ado, there's a countdown timer if you want to follow along. Let's dive in. Mmm, beautiful. Let's jump on my cookie. Mmm. Perfect. Oh. <clears throat> you lost. Sensei. <laughs> she really took her time. <laughs> Very windy. <laughs> That'd be really cool. You gotta try together season three. Oh, 
that's cool. A treehouse designer? I gotta find- What? I don't wanna see that. It is. It's gigantic. Well, because you ran, you sweated, and you don't have your coat and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Hot soup, please. Hot soup. Uh, I feel like I guess for the last episode I should just like not say anything during this time. I should just like dance around the whole time. Oh we got oh the food. Alright. That burger looked amazing. I'm just like, ooh, sweet and sour sauce, the burger and camembert cheese. <gasps> Maybe if it doesn't like if camembert if it doesn't like clash with like pepper jack, like a little bit of pepper jack. And then maybe a different kind of more mellow cheese. Um, and then a nice burger and lettuce and tomato. I'm drooling. Y'all, food plans. I gotta make myself some food. It's so good. I know there has to be. Odds are there has to be somebody, some channel somewhere that has taken on the food in this show. It's amazing. Is it camping all the way? <laughs> it's cute how they like blur out her face and the shield just to make things easy for the road skipper. Kind of. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thus, Yellowstone. Mm. Yeah, we actually got to see that in one of the episodes. <laughs> These little fantasy universe Shimabun fantasies are ridiculous. Again, <laughs> a series long drug I hope never goes away. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Apparently, if I ever get a chance to get to Japan, uh, we're going to Izu. <sighs> Very close. Nice. <laughs> That's bad because she's driving. She did, yeah. Really freaking early. Almost there, you can make it. Yes. Stretch it out. Oh, the sex 
reaction. It's really cute. <laughs> Look how Aki and Minnie and Noko have their own little section. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. Ed. Isn't it true that I actually I wouldn't be able to go into a hot spring because of my tattoos? Or <laughs> there are, or is that a bathhouse? Is that something else? But hot springs are in a bathhouse, right? Mm. Let me know about that one. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Canned coffee. They're getting there so late and it's dark, so they gotta ooh, set up in the dark. Beachside camping. Ooh, if it's one of those rocky beaches, you guys you gotta make sure not only. Well, they're not really on the beach that I'm just overlooking it. Ooh, that's late. She's already out. Let her nap. Wake her up when it's ready. <laughs> Resting my eyes. <laughs> so fast. Oh, poor Rin. Be careful, honey. This is really cool. I would like to make a fire scenario with my brother. Nice. They can be. You know, well, usually they're harder if you don't know what you're doing, then they're a pain. It burns up really quickly. That's kind of cool. As a teacher, kind of felt comfortable being able to make a bonfire with him. Ooh, she's being hypnotized, she's being lulled to sleep. <laughs> Has passed on, out, passed out. <laughs> Let her sleep for a little bit, y'all. It's okay. Wake her up when this food's ready. Minced chili peppers. <sighs> nice. Mm. Actually, it's funny. I was I had to make some um. Well, I, to, I was making some stir fry and, and I said to do chopped garlic, but I didn't have any, so I used garlic powder. Works just as good for the taste. <laughs> we did this. It's funny what's like in. Ooh, cool. It's funny to see like what's in. English and what's not. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh. Wow. 
this funny lobster and then they cool cool so they have yeah idiot forgot she wasn't supposed to like drink yet she needed to drive dummy Okay, Arasaki. Mm hmm. Good sister. Mm. Whole garlic. I've never eaten like whole garlic before. Dang. Double punch. They come to put double punch. They didn't have to put double whammy. Oh, my Spanish is not very good. Hmm? <laughs> That's cute. This it too goofballs up too. Man, they're so good. I've got to figure out how to do this better. Pretty girl. I see that. Good for you to know how you do that. It's not always easy for people. Cooking it kicks, cooks the alcohol out, so that's okay. Like a pizza soup version. Let's hope. The show hasn't made anything quite bad yet, at least for the group anyway. I once tried it was like a canned sake, and it was supposed to be sweet with a lot of umami with a lot of alcohol. It wasn't really that sweet, but it was really alcoholic. Couldn't all finish it, so I need to find a sake that I like. I'm not really a big alcohol fan, so I haven't found the one that I really like yet. Mm hmm. But I'll have to go back to the sake shop and find a couple others to experiment with. I mean, she puts a lot of planning into her food, it's amazing. Excuse me. That is true. Because I use the salt to dry it. Oh, ho, ho. All right, come on. There's the grandma. Shirma. She's Shirma. <laughs> Not waifu. <laughs> that was very mom-like to her. That was cute. Come on, let's go. <sighs> A zombie's life? <laughs> Liar face. Yeah, the day she goes to sleep, she's out cold.
It's not bad. Mm, beach side, nighttime, but just sitting there, amazing. No, because your sleep schedule is whack, girl. Hmm. Midnight tea? That's black tea. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that part. Oh, we're gonna get a connection between. Oh, I love. Oh, this is gonna be. It's so sweet. I love it. Late night chatting with a good drink is like amazing, especially if it's like chatting with people you like you never expected to chat with. Ugh, it's so good. It's very relaxing. <laughs> Inside? Cool. Mm. Oh, that's really sweet. Actually, it's she, yeah. She wouldn't be like a biker, but it's funny being in New York. It's I've seen people with like doggy backpacks. It's so cute. And Jakua would love it, probably a doggy backpack. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'll change for her too. They've kind of all changed each other. It's really nice. But I like how Anna's the one who like brought it up. She would. Because she's seen, she seen the change in Ren and the others and the connection she has with them. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, she's so sleepy. <laughs> of course, they're sharing it down. Oh my god, four in the morning. Oh, that she has just gone to sleep. Yeah, because you went to bed early, love. Does it have the best sunrise? Oh, no, it wouldn't. Cool. <laughs> okay. That's probably by based upon the time in winter. It must be like six or six. She's been, she's been out for a while. Sun kind of comes up pretty late-ish. <laughs> in the winter. In March, so it's probably around five something, maybe six something. Dang, she's like really like, I'm gonna just explore. It's a lot of park. Oh, that's nice. It's the paint. That was cool. It is cool to see with the animation. Nice outdoor bath. Oh, don't get sick. <laughs> They're bedheads. <laughs> Look at them. They got their like red sleepy face. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And then she's gonna wake up and go, Where's the head? Taki, shut up. She's so dramatic. Mm, she wants some alone time now. 
<laughs> Group is a bit much, right? Aki's so dramatic. Oh, wow. But she didn't want them all hampering in on her style. Like how, like, you know, they're all like, oh, where is she? I don't know. Uh, she pro oh, yeah, because they got the text. So they're like, okay, she's off exploring. And they're all like, they're like I don't want to eat it. Right and then Aki's like, she's gone. She ran away. Because <laughs> she's so dramatic. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, they did talk about hanging around till noon the next day. So if they wanted to sleep in a little bit, they could. But I like how Anna brought up the fact, like, things have changed since you moved here. Like, it was, like, Anna and Ren, and then, you know, it was Aki and Al in that relationship. And they weren't really connected. They knew of each other, but they didn't really know each other. Um, but Deshiko kind of has brought them all together. And then running into Doba-sensei and knowing her... And then having her become their counselor because they're so involved and they're doing a bunch of really cool stuff because kind of brought this really fun group together and, and the Shiko V run and the others has, has changed a little bit too but it's funny how much change Nadeshiko has brought to their lives. In turn, Ren and some of the others have changed Nadeshiko which is super cute. Super, super cute. But I love, oh, you know, you know, you know, cool. These are camping all their birthdays. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> Mama, she goes, maybe the moment. Why isn't her hand like a rattle? That's adorable. That was so stinking cute. I absolutely loved it. That was absolutely adorable. The Deshigo is Mama, she goes. Or Mamashiko, or yeah, I guess it's, it's, she's just adorable, and I love how like she's a mom in one moment, and she's like like I'll marry her now. It's just like okay, it's it's absolutely adorable and cute, and I love the series so much. I'm glad I watched the episodes back to back because they really do go well together back to back. So I think it's just a really it's it's just a really sweet series, and we get two episodes left. Um, 12 and 13 and then we're all done. Now rumor has it there's supposedly some movie going that's going to be happening in 2022. And we better get season 3 y'all because we talked about like tree houses and island camping and all that. But we better get it. This show is amazing and it's cute. So I love how last episode was all about the geo spots, but this one was all about the relationship dynamics and the sweetness and, 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 and Deshiko had, like late night connecting and and again, what's really adorable about the show is that the humor as well as the sweetness isn't just played for... Like, the jokes are just like, oh, here's a joke. The jokes are them being goofy and silly. And humor come, that comes out with being your, with your best friends. And the sweetness that takes place isn't like some manufactured, like, oh, you need to now find the sweet. It's the sweetness that comes out of the characters connecting and, and reacting. And so this anime is a very much a, a, like a reaction show where the characters, like the humor and all that, are reactions to things. They aren't planned out jokes and stuff like that, which is what I absolutely, ooh, right here, which is what I absolutely adore about the show and on top of the food and everything else. It's just all the, it's just all absolutely amazing. I love it. The Shimabani um, jokes are just very cute. They, they continue on. It's adorable. And I am very really excited to see what... It's interesting how they brought the spiny lobster out already. So I'm interested kind of to see what they will bring to the table tomorrow. Then, or the next camping day. And the sights they'll do and what they'll be doing for their birthdays. And of course, the episode after that, they'll come back home. And I'll get to kind of wrap up very, very sweetly. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how actually the last episode will end. 
since the last season it ended with a time jump and them kind of in spring ending there so i wonder if the last episode is don't tell me if it does but i'm going to just muse out loud if the last episode of the season is going to fill in the time or reference to the time when they go camping then but it'd be interesting because it's all about winter but we're reaching the end of the winter in the series so i'm curious to see if next season we'll skip to the next winter we'll get to enjoy the girls in like warmer months because nadeshiko she might inspire Ren who does not go camping at all during the summer and during like the late spring early fall because it's high it, it's high camping season peak camping season so she doesn't like crowds and she wouldn't want to do it so i'm curious to see if nadeshiko will inspire her to do some more warmer months camping there's really nothing else to add to that. The show's amazing and cute and adorable. And I actually learned that on the Japanese Amazon, you can get Shimmerin earbuds. And I gotta, so I gotta figure out a way to like get a hold of those because you can't find them on the um, American one. So I wanna see if the Japanese one I can, uh, I can get those. Cause you know, I had to make sure I had the money for it and yeah, figure that out because I do have a little bit too much ears and headphones stuff and I need to be sensible with my money, but I do what I get them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your enemies, and I'll see you next time.